everyone. Welcome to the newsroom. I am Fidelia Agoncha. The Kaduna state government has confirmed 16 new cases of the coronavirus in the state. The Commissioner of Health in the state, Amina Mohamed Boloni, who announced this, says the 16 cases were Almagiris who returned to the state from Kanu State. This comes hours after the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, said 196 new, new cases were reported across the country. According to a tweet from the health agency, Kaduna State confirmed 17 new infections and the total number of cases in Nigeria has risen to 1,728. The Lagos State Tax Force on COVID-19 says it has arrested 65 party goers for violating the lockdown order to curb the spread of the coronavirus in the state. The suspects who gathered at the 84 parks and gardens in the Abulegba area of the state for a birthday bash were arrested following a tip-off from residents of the area. They have now been handed over to the police for profiling while the venue of the party has been sealed off. President Muhammad Buhari has approved the implementation of a report submitted by the Presidential Committee on Restructuring and Rationalization of the Federal Government Parastatals, Commissions and Agencies during the Good Luck Jonathan Administration. Commonly called the Orosanye Report, the 800-page report had recommended the abolishment and merging of 102 government agencies and parastatals. Zainab Ahmed, Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, who confirmed the development, says the President's approval has been forwarded to the Head of Civil Service and Secretary to the Government of the Federation. Mohamed Goni, a former Governor of Bernou State, is dead. The former Governor reportedly died after a brief illness in Maiduguri. He was 78 years old. He was Governor of Bernou State between 1973 and 1983 in the Second Republic. The Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19 has directed government offices, banks and manufacturing companies to reopen on Monday. The chairman of the PTF, Boss Mustafa, and coordinator Sani Aliu stated this at the media briefing of the group on Wednesday in Abuja, where they gave guidelines for the gradual reopening of the economy. According to them, banks will start operating uh, from Monday but we only open from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. and must adhere to social distancing measures. The PTF also said employers must provide face masks and thermometers besides maintaining social distancing in their premises. Mozambique has prolonged by a month the state of emergency ordered on April 1st to try to slow the spread of the coronavirus infections. Under the state of emergency, movement of people within the country is restricted Schools are shut and no foreigners are allowed into the country. Infections in the southern African country have now risen to 76, of which more than three quarters originated from Total's LNG project site in northern Mozambique. Watford has announced the signing of French midfielder Pape Gouy from Lavre on Wednesday, despite the ongoing financial uncertainty surrounding Premier League clubs due to the coronavirus crisis. The Hornets agreed to a deal for players to defer wages last week in light of the economic harm caused by the pandemic. The 21-year-old, who has featured already for France at both the under-18 and under-19 levels, signed a five-year deal with the Hornets effective from July 1, 2020. And that's the latest from the newsroom. Many thanks for watching.